What is up guys? This is Coach Mark from Leo Fitness. Just finished up a workout. I just want to talk a little bit about an article I wrote today about core training. So the article is all about core training without sit-ups. So most popular exercise by far for the, for the core is going to be the crunch or the sit-up. So that's something where your, your low back and your body kind of crunches forward, goes into flexion, usually you're lying on your back. Uh, nothing inherently wrong with this exercise. I think it's been way overdone. And my argument would be that you can do plenty of core training without the, the sit-up. So what I talked about in my article is mainly about the, the core muscles being about anti-rotation and anti-movement. So uh, all the, the exercises that I talk about are a bird dog, also known as quadruped, a side plank, and a curl up. And you can extrapolate that to something called a, a dead bug. All those exercises focus on keeping your, your trunk stationary while, you're, while your limb moves. If we want to apply this to a sports performance side of things, uh, the easiest one for me to talk about is, is striking. So if my core, we'll call that everything from my, you know, kind of my throat to, to my pelvis, if that's really loose and I go to strike, as soon as I impact my target, now there's force acting back upon me. So if I go to strike and that force acts back upon me, now I'm losing a lot of force from my strike. But if this is nice and stiff, as I impact my target, that force transfers through where I'm trying to hit. You can extrapolate the same thing to kicking for the lower extremity, same thing for, for throwing, same thing for pulling. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to pull if we're talking jujitsu. I can pull myself towards my opponent or I can pull my opponent towards me. All that depends on is where the fixed point is. So if the fixed point is them, if I'm trying to pull a wall, I'm not going to be able to pull the wall, I'm going to pull myself. Versus if you have a, a, a shorter, smaller, lighter opponent, or maybe you're grounded better, you can pull them towards you. But if all that happens is your core is loose like a noodle, you're going to lose all your force throughout it. So that's why I, I tend to use those three exercises. That's why I tend to recommend them. They keep you nice and stiff, whether you're running, lifting, jumping, etc. And then the muscles that are meant to move your extremity, be it the pec, the lats, the glutes, the, the hamstrings and the quads, they have something, a fixed point, something super stable to work off of. Uh, go ahead and check it out. Leo.fitness slash blog slash core training or core exercises, or you can follow the link in the description below. Hope to hear from you soon. Hope you're having an amazing Saturday and getting your workout in. Peace.